What's up guys? Mr. Dan here. Found something cool the other day. Something that might be, might have been better for back to school time. August or September. It's called the Pencil Pusher. And it's the latest in this car and truck series. Which, uh, let me just get this out of the way first. I'm not sure why they don't just give this a name. Uh, they have the name of the car. It says Hot Wheels. Car included. They used to have a series called Track and Trucks. And we took it on the track. And then they used to have Truck and Transporters. And I'm not sure why they don't have a name for this. But it's the only series out at the moment. So we kind of know what it is. It's a car and a truck together. And this one's kind of cool. It comes with uh, Hot Wheels High. This is actually take two. So I'm going to kind of pretend to open this. Really quickly. It's actually going to make it go a lot quicker. How about this? Come right out. I don't want to miss that during the first take. I believe this Hot Wheels High is the same as the 2016 version. I don't have one here to confirm that, but it was in the Super Chromes last year. And typically the first color is like a silver chrome and then the second is a gold. I'm not sure if last year if this is plastic and plastic. I'm not sure about that. But you know, it's, it's a nice fun model, kind of like a futuristic bus, a couple sunroofs. It rolls pretty, rolls pretty well. Um, so we've seen that before. Great way to incorporate the excess of these is to come up with a truck that's school-based. So, oh, the back. I have to show you the back. There we go. Detachable cab, okay. You see, we can put some crayons in the front, perhaps. Um, transport your drawing supplies. The trailer roof is a ruler, and it says use hole to sharpen crayons. We'll see about that. As you, <laughs> you may have noticed a few shavings around. Like I said, this is take two, so I've kind of already tried that. But let's take a look. The back does open up. I love it when the ramp comes all the way to the bottom. Although the hinge there kind of really prevents you from smoothly putting the bus in the back. So you have to pretend. Of course, it's all pretend. I have to remind myself of that sometimes. And then uh, let's take a look at the... It's kind of weird they have this skirt that comes all the way down with a little hole to see the wheel. The other side seems to be identical. And let's take a look at the ruler. It slides out. That's pretty cool. The bus fits nicely in the top. It's got like half of a protractor, some circles for you to trace. It's got like a small, oh, I see small, medium, large, XL, double XL. It goes up to about four and a half inches. That's 11 centimeters. So you can go ahead and maybe have this at your desk if you're a younger student or perhaps an older student who likes Hot Wheels. Might come in handy as far as the cab holding those crayons. I'm not so sure about that. As well, they kind of fit in. It would be better if they were like half size crayons, used crayons, they're just about to fall out. And as far as the sharpener goes, as you can see by the shavings, I've already tried it. Not a lot happens. Did kind of get some shavings around, but not really doing a whole lot. It doesn't seem like it has that metal edge. Let's take a pencil. It's doing nothing to this pencil, essentially nothing to this pencil take you a year to sharpen that. So apparently that's just kind of a gimmick, a fun gimmick, unless mine is perhaps missing a metal piece, but now that I think about it, they probably wouldn't. Well, I don't mean they give kids pencil sharpeners. I don't know. Not really sure. But anyway, so that really didn't work for me. The Hot Wheels High, of course, fits on the track very nicely, but this is not one of the track size trucks. So it does not fit on the track. And I have some 143rd scale track that I'd like to try it on, but that is also not here. Most of my stuff is at my other location, but there you go. Hot Wheels High and Pencil Pusher. Pretty cool. Mostly, I guess, as a yeah, just a fun thing to have on, on your desk, I would say. But pretty cool. And maybe you can do this with some of the crowns. There you go. That'll work. If you're not using the ruler, that's a little more practical, perhaps. There you go. There you go, kids. There's your exacto knife. Probably not for little kids. Okay, you know what I'm saying. There we go, guys. Pencil pusher. Thanks a lot. Later.